Yeah, today at work, uh, my coworker she played that for the kids, and I was like, okay, that's even before her time. She's 60, but she introduced the children to Why Do Fools Fall in Love, and she taught them how to dance from that era, and I was just, wow, I was so impressed. Like, that's what you call genius. That's what you call like believing in the kids because as soon as i heard the song i'm like is this even appropriate I, guess I, <laughs> I was like worried like oh okay we can play this in school for the kindergarten people okay <laughs> the parents are not gonna get offended you know because there's a line in there that says why do birds sing so gay but back then gay meant happy but you know, okay, yeah, okay. But it was so refreshing to see that because it shows that when you push a child and you introduce them to different genres because they're used to urban music and there's nothing wrong with that. But it's kind of good to introduce them to old school because that's very uh, freaky Lyman. And she educated them on it. Uh, Franklin, Frankie Lyman was 15 in 1956. Um, and she was like telling them about him and stuff. We will, all of us that's my age, uh, we've seen the movie with um, Lorenz Tate and Vivica A. Fox and Halle Berry. But kids today don't really know, um, like my son doesn't know about it. And, but I thought that was just so dope what she did, you know, to introduce that. And they was dancing, they was doing the, you know, it was so cute and she had them paired up, you know, and it was, you know, it was like, um, like more girls than boys. So not all of them had opposite genders, but it was so dope to see that, you know, but um, yeah. But um, I want to briefly talk about um, not necessarily the movie, but um, I was reading over a poem that I wrote, and it was about um, a handsome man that was hurting inside. <laughs> and sometimes, you know, we want to call people buttholes and oh he's an asshole and da 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 people have real childhood traumas in their life that they've never gotten over and I wanted to that I wanted that to be said um a lot of people project hurt and that's something I have to constantly remind myself everybody's not me everybody's not you so if you're a warm nice person that's down for people and you've been loved. I didn't come from a perfect household, but I was loved. I was shown love. Um, my father still shows his love. And my mother, I feel like she loved me the best way she could. Um, I didn't have a perfect childhood, but they did the, my parents, I feel like they did the best they could. Um, and I'm able to be a parent because I had parents. And I wanted to say that not everybody, everybody had adults that lay down and had them, but not everybody was loved properly. And it shows, it definitely shows um, when people are rude and mean, it's not always, um, it's not always their fault especially in relationships and friendships, you'd be like, why is this person so messed up? Hurting people hurt people. And as I get older, you have to accept that. You know, everything is not against you. It's just when a person is not properly loved, it shows every time, I'm telling y'all. So the next time 
you know, and it, it could be, you know, even in a, in a family relationship, your cousin, you know, why is this person cold as ice? You know, you got to think about it. Did they have a father in their life? Did they have a mom in their life? Did they have anybody in their life who loved them? Love is is like food. It's a need. It is. And when a human is not properly loved, trust and believe they're going to look for it. Not only are they going to look for it, but they cannot exhibit it because they didn't get it. So I just wanted to say that really quickly. The only way someone could be nice to you or show love, somebody had to be nice to them. You know, people say, oh, you're such a nice person. Your spirit. So many people have told me, she's like, you used to have this this aura about you and I'm like I get it from my dad like literally like he's not perfect but he's dope and he's the one person that I could really say that really loves me and I really love my son and he loves my son and he's consistent you know um my father never missed anything that I've ever done ever like I could tell him right now yo I'm gonna do a poetry slam <coughs> at such and such a place he's there front row and center or my son you know um my son could be performing wherever he's there you know and it's because of that consistency that's why I'm so consistent but what I have to realize is not everybody is me. Sometimes you have to take a step back and realize everybody's not you. You know, so I go hard and I'm consistent, but I'm not going to get that because everybody doesn't get that. Everybody wasn't taught that. Right. So that's just the word for today. You know, be patient with people. And sometimes you might have to stay, take a step back for your own mental health. And like I said, this is everything. Friendships, cousins, whoever it is. If they're not showing you what you're showing them, pray for them. And then you got to look at their childhood. Do they come from love? Were they loved consistently? That's very important. And those are my thoughts.